when we connected Stewie Pots and Nettlebed, three things went through my mind. One of them was, wow, wahoo, yes, we've done it. <laughs> and the second thing was, was quite a bit of sadness that the original Stewie Pot team wasn't actually there to share the excitement. And the third thing was, now it's finished. What next? What next? The next big project would have to be the bowling system. Now I've spent many years, just like lots of cavers in New Zealand, exploring that cave. The more we're finding out about the whole mountain, and the more we're finding out about the cave, the more interesting the system's becoming. Bulma is located on the southern side of Mount Owen. It was found back in the mid-80s on an expedition led by a Nelson caver called John Patterson. And over the last 25 years or so, it's been explored by many, many people to a length of 72 kilometres. Well, we're back at Bulma Cave. And this time, we're actually going to the far end of the cave, about six or seven kilometres from here, and we're redoing a dye trace that Neil did about two or three years ago. He put dye into a stream the way back at the end of the cave, and that water actually came out in the Blue Creek Spring, about 12 kilometres away. And we're just going to redo that dye trace just to confirm Neil's results, and we do confirm it. What we have is potential for at least the longest cave in New Zealand, and potentially one of the longest caves in the Southern Hemisphere. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, we want to push this cave over 100 kilometres long. Now, the cave's 70 kilometres now. We want to get it to 100k. We're pretty confident we're going to do it. We've done a dye trace right at the end of the cave and hoping, to, hoping that dye will come out in the Blue Creek Spring, which is actually 12 kilometres from here on the other side of the mountain. And that's going to open up a huge area of mountainside, you know, underground there for us to, to explore, which is, oh, we're just incredibly excited, really excited. <music> Fantastic news, just um, a few days ago, the dye that we put into Bulma, this is where it came out. Our friend on this side of the mountain came up one morning, on Saturday morning, and the river was green with fluorescine. So, we've got a positive connection, eight kilometres distant Bulma, one super long cave. Awesome. We want to get Bulma over 100 kilometres. Now, there's two ways to do this. One of them is to explore out to the north, out towards Blue Creek. The other one is to connect in other caves into the system. Now last summer, exploring down the Jaguar Streamway, we found a significant piece of passage heading out to the south. Now this passage is in black on the map, and its significance is only apparent when we put Bohemia on the same map as Bulma. And you can see the alignment. The Jaguar Streamway is heading straight for Bohemia. Now Bohemia lies a long way above this part of Bulma. And what we need to look for, we need to look for a streamway in Bohemia heading downstream. And you know what? I know exactly where to look. Another big mission. Up to going heading up to Bohemia Cave today just to check out a lead just inside the entrance. Nice easy walk. A thousand metres of climbing, ten river crossings, or more than ten, probably twenty river crossings, bluffs to climb, lots of bush bashing. So hopefully I'll be back here about four o'clock this afternoon. So I'm only gonna spend an hour or so in Bohemia Cave and come back. Big day. Get up these bluffs. Cool little route that goes up a gully and up a series of ledges and up a little hand line into a hanging valley. And then from then on it's just a big slog up to the Bulma Lake. 
almost at the lake. It's a good grind. <coughs> 1,045 metres, climb 500 metres. Last 45 minutes, feeling pretty tired. But the last little bit up to the lake, I love it. Walk up here and out into the sick. It's really, really beautiful. Well worth the hard work, that's for sure. Oh, time for a cup, I reckon. It's quite cold. Here comes the sun. Yay. No, nope. time to go caving. Oh God. Sometimes I wonder why I do these things. They come up here on daylight like today, and it's like, wow, pretty amazing. It's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So Bohemia is inside the hill with that Ryan right now, and you've got this big glacial valley here, and on the other side, on the pavements over there, we've got the Bulma system, which runs back underneath the hills here for well, at least 5k, and there's about 70 kilometres of cave underneath that hill. Is it 12 kilometres underneath the hill here? Here we are at last. Bohemia here was found by the Checkers of Arkin Cavers back in 1990, summer 1990. Very quickly, it was explored through some enormous chambers down to a depth of about 700 metres and a length of around about 12 kilometres. So we can connect Bohemia to Bulma. You know, it's Bulma 72 kilometres long. I say it's 84 kilometres if we can connect the two caves. It means that we're only 16 kilometres from the magic 100k. So, yeah, an important project, really important project. The place I'm going to is only probably 10 minutes inside the entrance here, if I can find it. I don't have a map, so I'm kind of guessing. Kind of go in here, down a pitch, left and left again, at the end of that passage, so. <laughs> oh, cross fingers, hope so. As far as I can tell, that's it. And you know, the good thing is that there's wind coming out of it. And oh, I think that's quite important, actually. It's drafting really, really well. That's what I expected. Maybe a hammer. Wouldn't take much to get through that. And it's ongoing passage on the other side. So in five minutes, <laughs> I've solved my problem. Yeah, very close to the entrance. Yeah, that's definitely worth coming back and having a whack at that for sure. No, it's, a, it's a good solid breeze coming over there. <laughs> Sounds big too. Now I can go home. Job done. <laughs> Time for lunch. Make it last. Feeling tired. Sore legs. Time to go home.
So the next step now is to go back to Bohemia with a hammer and start bashing away at the wall and head downstream. And also go back to the Jaguar streamway and the Jaguar basically ends in a big hole. There's a big hole in the floor, a big streamway is coming in on the, other, on the far side of the hole and we need to push upstream. Hopefully that's the Bohemia water. The height difference between the two caves, as far as I can tell, it's about 400 metres. Bohemia, the leading Bohemia sits way up here and the Jaguar streamway sits way down here. And that distance is about 400 metres. They're also about 400 metres apart. So it's quite a significant amount of passage to find in there as well. But just remember, it might be hard work, but the connection, adding 12 or 13 kilometres to the length of Bulma, a huge step to taking it over that 100 kilometre mark. So who's keen to come and help? Thank you.